drill you a couple holes in a 2 by 4 with a clamp and a couple holes here in the bottom and you can stick your wires through. Now when you bend your copper, when I'm doing it, I bend them in two different lengths. The bigger you make your weight, the longer you want the long piece. So this right here will give me lead from about here to here. So I can't make a really, really long weight with that because it would take up too much of the top. You want the, the ends to always stay about even. And all I'm doing with these is those four holes down in there. They're just sticking that down in. And then I can put it under the surface, but I just got to make sure that my lead doesn't fill up over that level. I look underneath to make sure that they're about the same length. Now I got to do is heat up some lead on the propane burner over here and fill it up. So we'll make a first weight using some 2x4s. Alright, and I'm just going to throw whatever I have into that mix. I'm going to melt that down along with other weights. Alright, all that lead's melted now and only took about 30 seconds, maybe a minute tops just to gather up all that stuff. And now all we got to do is pour it into the 2x4s and that's your first way to make yourself a weight. And by the way, you should be wearing eye protection. I forgot mine, it's laying over on the bench. I'll be getting it in just a moment. You know, some of it's going to piddle out the bottom. So I'll pour a little bit first just to let it set up. I'm right out the bottom, but it's setting up. Oh, it's just draining. It's all draining out, huh? Now in the future, you might have to just put some tin foil on the bottom of that so it doesn't all keep melting. It's just my holes are a little bit bigger than my wire, and that's why it's allowing it to all go out. And of course, it is going to burn into the wood, but it'll still set up in there. And you can make three, four, five of them before your mold gives out, maybe a few more. Even though the, I have two blocks of wood, I have the holes in the bottom, so you can't just separate the blocks and expect this to fall apart. And I'm just forcing a chisel down in there to help open it up some. Give me some leeway. And they should pull right out. They're going through a lot of wood, so it might be a bit harder. I haven't done it out of wood in a long time, so. Some of that lead might be formed in such a way to keep it from pulling out. And if your wires are bent, of course, it won't pull out easy either. So the straighter they are, the better off you'll be. And separate that a bit and it should come out of there. It might take a minute, but you can get it out. Use one to pull one block off and then another one to pull the other off. It'll come. It's just all that lead. If I had made smaller holes here, it wouldn't be so hard to come apart. It's just the lead goes down in that hole and plugs up your hole. So go with a match your hole to the size of your wire. Alright, so it's not a pretty weight, but it's prettier than some. A little bit rough, but that'll work. That's all you need. And that's already probably a good 8 ounce weight, 9 ounce weight, easy. Just bend out your wires and you're ready to go fishing. Okay, so that's, that's the 2x4 method. And you can use that to make a couple different ones. Just make sure you match your hole the size of the wire you're using, that way it won't be so hard to get a point.